everyone, this is Miss Barb from the Sterling Heights Library. The library is still going to be closed for several more weeks, but I'd like to share with you a story time coming from my kitchen today. Uh, the story that I would like to share with you today is one of my favorite stories. This is called Sailor Moo Cow at Sea and uh, by Lisa Wheeler. It is just a really cute story about a cow who really wants to be a sailor. We will find out what happens in the story. After we read the story, I have two crafts that I'd like to show you how to do today with things that are pretty much everyday objects that I think that you'll have at your house. One of them is to make a, uh, a pirate hook craft out of a plastic cup and some aluminum foil. And the other one is an edible craft. For the edible craft, we are going to make a little boat out of a slice of apple and a slice of cheese. I hope that you enjoy the story, and I hope that you'll enjoy the crafts that we'll do. This is Sailor Moo, Cow at Sea. Sailor Moo, Cow at Sea by Lisa Wheeler. All year long, the dairy cows would stand and graze and chew. They truly were contented cows, except for little Moo. Moo watched the field of waving wheat and wished for ocean swells. She sniffed the freshness of the grass, but wished for ocean smells. Soon Moo grew tired of dreaming dreams and said farewell one day. She packed her bucket and her bell, then hoofed it toward the bay. Yo ho ho and a shiver me be. Who ever heard of a cow at sea? Moo climbed aboard the nearest ship, a feline fishing boat, owned by Captain Silverclaw, a tom with cindered coat. High atop his lofty perch, the whiskered captain towered. If ye be yellow, get off now! But Moo was not a coward. She looked the captain in the eye and said, here's what I'll do. Fresh milk each day will pay my way. Just call me Sailor Moo. Then Silver Claw, he licked his jaw and rubbed his trusty hook. One brimming pail each day you sail. You'll be our galley cook. Yo ho ho and a shiver me be. Sailor Moo has gone to sea. Moo loved the way the ocean sang. Like music she would utter, as rocking, rolling ocean waves would churn her milk to butter. She couldn't speak the language of the spitting, hissing crew. They'd laugh and joke like feline folk, ignoring Sailor Moo. So Moo befriended ocean life. She loved the manatee. She'd moo and low, they'd swim below, her cousins of the sea. Then came one day, near Hogshead Bay, a sudden savage gale. Poor Sailor Moo into the brew was tossed head over tail. Yo ho ho and a shiver me be, Sailor Moo is lost at sea. Within this well she rang her bell, the sea cows heard her chime. Too near the reef they dived beneath and saved her just in time. They swam her to the nearest ship, a crusty cattle barge. Red Angus, handsome brawny bull, appeared to be in charge. Then Sailor Moo, with much ado, was ushered on the deck, where cows and steers with studded ears wore scarves around their necks. Red Angus bowed, addressed the crowd, We welcome Moo on board. Who was this crew? She had no clue. A bovine pirate horde. Yo ho ho, what a shiver me be. Pirate cows be out at sea. Poor Moo was shocked the day she walked into the pirate's lair. She saw rare jewels and milking stools among the treasures there. Moo's heart was pure, so she was sure it must be a mistake. Looting steers, cow buccaneers, she felt her stomach's ache. 
and with a sigh, Angus, why? Then neither said a word. Moon knew the truth, she saw the proof, he led this lawless herd. Red Angus gazed into her eyes, his heart began to warm. In Moo he'd seen his dairy queen, and now he must reform. Yo ho ho and a shiver me be, Moo finds romance out at sea. The bull gave up his pirate ways, forsook the pirate life. He said adieu to ship and crew, and Moo became his wife. Sailor Moo, content at last, she couldn't want for more. No need to roam, she makes her home along the Jersey shore. They have a bonny baby now, a sweet cream-colored calf. Part Sailor Moo, part Angus too, they call her half and half. Yo ho ho and a shiver me be, happily ever after three. The end. I hope everyone enjoyed the story, Sailor Moo Cow at Sea. And as I promised, I have two crafts that I'd like to show you today that can be done with pretty much everyday household items. The first craft I would like to show you is a craft that is made out of um, a plastic cup. I have a plastic cup right here and it is made out of some aluminum foil. I have some leftover aluminum foil that uh, I didn't want to throw away because I knew I was going to use for this craft. So to make this craft, I'm going to start with my plastic cup. And this is something that grown-ups will need to help with this part of the craft because we're going to take a pair of scissors and we need to make a hole in the plastic cup. So I'm going to take my pair of scissors and very carefully I am going to put my scissors through the top of the cup. I'm going to do it a little bit fast, so uh, kind of stabbing my cup. Sorry, that sounds violent, but I'm going to go punch. Not working out too well. Let's give it a better punch. Tough cup. Maybe I should start out with my knife. My knife has made a little hole in my cup. I don't want to do it, uh, you know, obviously I want to be gentle doing this. I don't want to cut myself. So I've made a hole in my cup. Carefully put down my knife. Now to my scissors. I'm going to use my scissors to make that hole a little bit bigger. Gonna kind of twist it around so it's more of a hole instead of a slit in my cup. So here's the hole in my cup. Not the world's best looking hole, but for this craft, it really doesn't need to be. Uh, so I've got a hole in the bottom of the cup and I've got a bunch of aluminum foil. We are going to make a pirate hook. So there's really no particular amount of aluminum foil that you need. Um, I would do it uh, probably at least two thicknesses of aluminum foil so that way you have some heft to the hook but if you want to go sparingly that's okay too you could also take if you wanted you could probably take a piece of newspaper or um, just some sort of filler maybe a scott towel or something just to give it a little bit more heft i have enough aluminum foil i'm just going to use this so i'm going to roll this up nothing fancy just rolling it so that I have a roll of aluminum foil. It's a really easy craft. Roll of aluminum foil like this. And I am going to, once I have my roll, because I'm making a pirate's hook hand, once I have that formed, I'm gonna make kind of a C at one end of it. So I've kind of got a C shape here. And the other end, I'm gonna try and keep that a little bit straight. I'll make my seat bigger. Make that a little bit uh, condensed because this is going to go into my cup. So this will take a little bit of practice to do or a little bit of um, 
Now practice, a little bit of trial and error uh, because my hole is a little too small. I don't want it too big because I don't want the aluminum foil to fall right out of it, but I'm going to saw with my scissors carefully. I'm going to make the cup hole a little bit bigger. And push that through. I'm even putting my hand in the cup so I can pull the aluminum foil through on the inside. Make it just a tiny bit bigger. I'm actually going to snip it a little bit with my scissors so that way it's just a little bit easier for me to put that in. No right or wrong way to do it. If your hole was big enough, that's fine. If your hole was too big, if you uh, really gave it a good stab and uh, made your hole too big, you could also use masking tape. Um, masking tape, duct tape, something like that to make your hole a little bit smaller or to be able to hold your pirate's hook in. So I've got that in the bottom. I'm going to make this a little bit more into my C shape. And now my pirate hand, my pirate hook, which I can feel on the inside, so I don't think it's gonna fall out. Now I have got a hook that I could use as a hand if I was playing dress up and I wanted to be a pirate. So kind of a fun little craft, uh, just a quick thing out of a couple of household implements, uh, just paper or a plastic cup and some aluminum foil. So very simple pirate craft to make. I have an edible craft I would also like to show you how to make. Uh, edible crafts are just really fun to do. For the edible craft, this one, you will need an apple. You could probably use a pear, you could probably use a lemon, an orange, uh, any type of fruit like that. But this one, I chose an apple. And I also have a piece of cheese. Uh, happens to be Swiss, you can use cheddar, you can use Munster, you can use uh, whatever type of cheese slice you have at home. If you don't have sliced cheese at home, uh, if you have black cheese, you could uh, just cut off uh, some thin slices, uh, a thin slice to make something like this. If you don't have anything like that at home, you could just use a piece of paper if you wanted to, and that just won't be an edible portion of the craft. But uh, for this part, I am going to First off, take my apple, and I'm going to cut my apple in half. And I'm going to cut it in half a couple of times, so I've got it in half. And actually, I'm going to cut it in thirds, now that I have that first half done. So I've got it, uh, put this on a different plate. So I've got an apple slice right here. Move those guys over. And because we don't want to eat or look at those kind of yucky spots like that, I'm going to go ahead and carefully cut those pieces and get rid of them. And this is something that after the initial cut is done with the apple, if you have plastic knives at home, then you could probably have your child use a plastic knife so that they don't get hurt, but they could probably use that to cut around and get that core area out, get the seeds out, stuff like that. They could also use a plastic knife uh, for the next part, uh, which is to attach the sail. So I've got my sail right here, which is a piece of cheese and I'm going to cut, I'm going to slice that piece of cheese and slice it once more so that I have a piece like this, which will be a sail. If you wanted, you could uh, make a skull and crossbones on here. If you have maybe gel frosting at home, if you wanted to be fancy and melt some chocolate chips, and uh, draw on there with uh, melted chocolate chips. If you put those in a little baggie, snip off the end, you could decorate it, skull and crossbones. This is just gonna be a simple, uh, simple flag, or excuse me, simple sail for the ship. And I'm going to put them together using a plastic straw. You could also perhaps use a pretzel stick. You could use a toothpick. There's a couple of different things that you could use, basically something uh, something that is stiff and something that's at least several inches long. I'm going to use my scissors and cut the straw and 
using my knife. Again, for children, they could do this with a plastic knife, but I am going to make a little hole towards the top of the cheese and a little hole towards the bottom of the cheese. So I've got a little bit here and a little hole here. And I'm going to put my straw through the holes. So I've got one hole done and I've got the other hole done. So right there is my sail and I'm simply going to put this into my apple slice and then it looks like a sailboat. So as I said, this is something that you could use if you don't have uh, apples available, if you have a pear, if you have an orange, uh, any type of fruit like that. You could probably even do it with a potato if, uh, if you don't have any fruits at home, if you have a potato. Uh, just something that is uh, kind of a firm, firm type of uh, fruit or vegetable. And then for the cheese, you could use a cheese slice like this. If you don't have sliced cheese at home, you can use paper. Uh, there's all sorts of different things. You can come up with so many things uh, to be inventive when you're a little limited by what, uh, what you have at home. But hopefully this was a simple craft. Hopefully this is something that you can do with objects that you have at home. So here is my apple and cheese slice boat. And here is the hook for the pirate craft. I hope that you enjoyed the story. I hope that you were able to make the crafts at home. And most of all, I hope that we'll see each other again soon at the library. Everyone be safe, be healthy. I miss you all and take care. Bye-bye.